Okay, so uh, I'll give you a little quick summary of the day. Uh, see if the light gets in your eyes or not. Tarp is on. Made all this stuff today. Here, all oh, this. It's just a handle from a, a cheap handle from a local store that sells stuff. So, uh, actually, same hardware. Uh, Burke Farm Supply. That's where I got the bearings in this handle. The pipe I got uh, for the guy our, that we get our metal from. So, uh, Jordan, I just finished putting the tarp on it. Uh, we put the arms on it. I built these uh, these little uh, L brackets to. Uh, to catch the tarp when it comes back so it doesn't bang on the top of the trailer and it gives it uh, lets it settle in so when it's uh, going down the road with the uh, with the tarp out it doesn't slide back and forth win and bounce up and down it sits in those we've used them on a lot of trailers and it works pretty good so these are garage door springs Ooh, and they're still wet and basically what we do is we use these quick links and I weld them on and then uh, we put we put them up here also and then we put the garage door spring on there. And what that does is it helps you assist on the tarp coming out. Um, and a lot of expensive tarps have a system in here with a spring and a, and a cam system that uh, does the same thing. But this is just a lot cheaper. Uh, this is all homemade. This is just my design. I've been doing them for years. I've done a bunch of them. <clears throat> and we put them on every trailer and every truck. Actually, a little red dump truck. Uh, the Kodiak has that on it. Uh, excuse me, Top Kick. I don't know why I say Kodiak. I used the guy I bought it from had a Kodiak. I always get them confused. It's Chevrolet. I'm not really up on that stuff, so I digress. So back to here. So, uh, so we got the tarp on it. We put a little chain and a bungee cord, and that just keeps it from uh, unrolling when it's rolled up. Uh, we've emptied. Um, I welded the bottom trip gate. I welded that all in so it can't trip anymore. So it just swings open with the swing gates that we made. We still got to paint here. Let's see if that'll focus. Yeah, pretty grubby. So, and we got to put a coat of paint on the inside. Of course, this side mirrors the other side. So, that's about it. I didn't get to put the belt on that. So roughly about 6, 8, 12, 12, 12, 14 hours on putting putting the metal sides in, putting the boards in. Jordan painted the boards and cut them and got them in. And uh, we got the corners done, the tarps done. Uh, we're going to run through the brakes tomorrow, make sure that they're all adjusted up and working properly. Put it on the road and like I said it'll be it's going on its first job on Wednesday so um, he's we're gonna when I bring it back after the first job once we get it through we're a little time stretched right now we have all our equipment out on uh, jobs and this company that uh, uh, Jordan started hauling for is uh, uh, chewing a lot of trailers this week from us so which is good and bad so <laughs> Good, they're all out working for them. Bad, we don't have any extra. To, so, so this is this will be uh, this is trailer number three of the trailers that we have left. That is a dump trailer. So, so there's a 12 footer and these two uh, 14 footers. Uh, the the bigger one, the gooseneck, is a 15,000 GVW. This is a 14,000. So, and we got swing gates. Uh, I think that's about it. I don't know if I got through. I think I told you about the uh, garage sale items. I bought a bunch of uh, kids' helmets for uh, two, three bucks a piece. So, and there's the phone right on Save the Time. So, okay, we'll bring you more once we put a load on it and we'll show it working. Thanks.